I found different types of isopods while exploring local parks of New York. Here you can see me picking isopods under rocks and tree bark at uh, Cratona Park in the Bronx. That is why I found these guys in January 2023. Six giants, I call them for their size. The adult giants grow over 2 cm long, sporting shiny dark colors. Giants are not that fastest moving isopods among all I've seen. These isopods can roll into a ball. Six isopods was enough to establish a colony. I spotted baby isopods about four weeks after the initial setup. Here you can see about two weeks old baby isopods. These giant isopods seem to enjoy a high humidity feeding mostly on tree bark and wilted leaves. I keep my isopods in 16 oz plastic containers, feeding and misting cultures once a week. I found Aniscus isopods in Kisena Park in Queens in June 2022. Aniscus grow less than 2 cm long and have a distinct skirt around the body. You can see them in the previously published video Isopods Don't Eat Mold experiment. Here you can see the smallest isopods among all I've seen in New York. I found these isopods at Prospect Park in Brooklyn in December 2022. They grow up to 1 cm. Shiny brown little guys move pretty fast. They also like moist uh, tree bark and wilted leaves. I spotted the first speckle sized babies about 6 weeks after the initial setup. These little isopods turn to be very reproductive in high humidity at room temperature. I found noisy peel isopods at Staten Island in May 2023. These isopods grow less than 2 cm large, feeding on tree bark and wilting leaves. They are good runners and have higher reproduction rate too. And here you can see the most common isopods I found in many parks of New York. Relatively large as a path grown less than 2 cm long in my terrariums. They thrive in high humidity and breed proficiently. I've seen newborn isopods every 4 5 weeks or so. Newborn isopods are very tiny speckle size. I have to use a camera zoom or a magnifying glass to see newborn isopods. I have many videos about these isopods, where to find, how to take care and how to farm them. I've been farming these isopods in huge quantities primarily for feeding my newts and fish. Here you can see an adult eastern newt is uh, hunting an isopod. Two dozen of well-established cultures in 16 oz containers provide enough isopods for feeding three adult newts year-round. Have fun and happy pets!